what up though detroit so you already know the deal uh, you know just giving a shout out to petty tupac tv like comment subscribe you already know the deal we have to support our everybody's businesses and you know you already know how it goes we support each other you know what i'm saying make detroit win I just came from a place where a coffee dare to get a razor blade slid across your face. I done seen it all. Gang banging killers, them boys in the stall. Nation of Islam, VBM bloods, 20 men broad, stabbed in his eye and asked what he saw. So the vice lord just got a real, real big indictment here. I read some of it, man. What what you think about it? And I, I know you you also told me that you introduced um, some guys with each other. Like, like what's, what's up with that? Was the one of the guys you introduced to the Lords, was he bold? Did he tell or what was going on? Like, um, even on this situation, I ain't gonna speak too much on it, you know, but I did see that shit. And the only thing I can really say about it is social media. You know. I seen I seen a lot of them like when I was reading it, a lot of them was communicating on social media. That's all they can say for the social media, you know. That's a big indictment, you know, so you know what's gonna happen. A forty man indictment, Rico. That's a twenty five year bid. Ain't, ain't too many that's gonna take that to the chin. I don't go for like what you say, how you feel. Do you take precautions on what you talk about on social media now? Hell yeah, pictures, oh. what I say, what I do. Mm-hmm. Uh Ah boy, you know him? Yeah. Is he telling or, or what? I ain't gonna speak on this situation, you know, man, you know. It's just certain shit. Like I say, you know, I'm not even going to speak on none of these situations, you know, because I do just ask me personally, you know, like all that, you know, social media. I don't want nobody to take anything I'm saying, you know, and spin it, even though, you know, like I say, <laughs> ain't really too much to say about that. If you know, you know. If you don't, you know, find out yourself or just stay the fuck out the way. That's just how it is, you feel me? That's just how it's going to go. Now, six... Was you introduced to your chapter uh, up there in Lansing? What you mean by that chapter? As far as, oh, excuse me, you said you was born into it. That that was up there in Lansing, or did you travel somewhere? Oh, that was in Lansing. It was in Lansing? Yeah. Do the G's got like a, you know, maybe a little, I guess, business, I will say chapter up, uh, up there in Lansing too? I don't know about no chapter or no business, but I know that we have some um, positive brothers that's functioning in the community. That's mm -hmm. the guys. What 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 are they doing in the community? Um, feeding the homeless. This year, every year we do big Juneteenth events in Detroit. Mm -hmm. So now we're working it on Lansing. We do a lot of stuff. So I, I I can really tell, like when I talk to certain G's, they they really on that old three sixty that banging shit. But you personally, I I feel like you you really on that, on, on the growth and development tip. Who who put you up on that, or did you just you know? naturally gravitate towards that more sophisticated attitude. No, it was, it was see people be trying to make it a split with the cup with the old concept and new concept. It's what they labeled it. But seven twenty and growth and development been been implemented since the eighties. But niggas wouldn't know that because they not in tune. You know what I'm saying? Niggas be getting fake literature or getting whatever the fuck they be getting. But them niggas don't got no black and white sealed document with shit from the eighties, seventies, you know what I'm saying, that's been talking about growth. The or been moved past that back then, but you know, if you ain't in tune, you would never know this type of shit. I, I want to ask you, when certain guys name drop the chief, Larry Hoover, chairman, or whatever you want to call them, when they name drop them, do, do you feel a certain type of way about that? When they name drop the chairman? Yeah, as far as, you know, like the song. If it's something negative, yes, I feel a type of way about that. Mm-hmm. They ain't what he pushing. They ain't what the old man pushing. Why? Why do you think it is that guys like G Herbo, Lil Dirk, why, why do you think it is that they able to say GD, GDK and, and um, records? For those who don't know, that's growth and development or gangster disciple killer. Why? You, why do you think it is that they able to just say this freely? Because they got money for one, so they they got security, and um, you know a lot of that shit don't be. Towards the, the the um you know the country that should be some internal shit that they got going on in their city and that's a city politics because you can see plenty of pics with Dirk and the guys you know what I'm saying so that don't mean shit and his dad was one of the guys facts so 
do you think if Larry Hoover was released today that he could be able to make a real big difference in Chicago? Because I keep hearing they saying we don't respect no OGs. It's not Chicago. It's everywhere. Mm -hmm. It's going to have an impact. Everywhere? Everywhere. It's going to have an impact. I ain't no, none of that. I mean, Kanye West and Drake are supposed to be the biggest people right now. And they just did a what? A concert, right? Right. Chalway, do you think if if if, if uh, Jeff Ford ill El Malik, you think if he got out, he'd be able to make an impact? Far as not well, not just in Chicago, but period. Like, hey, y'all gotta chill out. Most definitely, you know, it ain't even got to say that. You know, most purple, most people gonna move according to what they see. So you know, most people out here living a certain kind of lifestyle, some folly shit for for up under the bridges type shit. You know, and when a brother like that come home, all that shit get washed away. Because, mm -hmm. you know, whether a motherfucker want to believe it or not, I seen the interview, you know, with G Herb when he said, oh, no, you know, Chief came home, you know, one nothing change, one nothing change, you know. Facts. But that's a lie, you know. Even though, you know, he tapped in now, you know, and got a lot of that shit um, washed. It can't get washed away, but, you know, it's like nip for for you know, but you know, chick at home most definitely it'd be a it'd be a bigger influence, you know, a lot of shit, you know. I don't know about a lot of the worldwide killing being stopped, you feel me, but as far as the organization, the guys, a lot of shit to tighten up for sure, for sure. That put a lot of shit on the map, you know, that need to be, you know, out there. Do you, do you think Chief Emily don't get his like credit though? Because you know, like Hoover, Drake, Kanye, Ross, so on and so forth, always mention his name. Do you feel like he don't get enough, you know, mention for what he's done and his impact? You know, I don't look at it like that for real, for you know, because you know, like I said, if you know, you know. Mm -hmm. If you don't, you just don't. You know, I don't think he really even worry too much worried about you know like what somebody actually got to say about him for real, trying to put his name out there more, unless you're trying to, you know, be on that demo, you know, those dudes, you know, saying a demo, even though it don't get recognized like that for real, but, you know, they ain't the mission for real, you know. There's a whole mission behind the, behind the drawing. That really ain't the mission. You really ain't, you know, really too much worry about that. But, you know, time coming. Shout out to cancelbadcredit.com.